This is Seven Arisan's 12mm f2.8 wide angle lens. Let's find out if it is one sec. It's totally metal, you see. Sorry about that noise, whatever. Let's find out if it is really good enough for you, anybody, for me, for anybody, for any kind of a content creator out there. Do you really need to have a wide angle lens? And this is a tiny, compact wide angle lens from Seven Arisans. So uh, uh, if you want to know in just one sentence, if it is good enough for you, I would say yes. This is affordable, this is cheap, and this is really, really brilliant given the price point. Right now, this is my Sigma lens, which is a 30mm view. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, it's not quite wide, is it? Now let's just switch to this 12mm lens and we'll see what happens, yeah? Check this out. This is the view that you get if you use this lens on your APS-C crop sensor body. Quite wide, as you can see. You can see my dead cat. Look at that. It's just hanging around. Don't do that. If you have a wide angle lens, you have to be very, very protective and very, very vigilant in terms of hiding all these things. Let's start. Hi folks, welcome back and uh, I'm Abhishek Raut. This is Art for Thought and let's continue. We have 7 Artisan 12mm f2.8 wide angle lens and I am going to see if it is good enough for anybody. A wide angle lens is really really required if you would like to show your tiny space appear quite huge and deep. Look at this. Can you see that? I'm swimming. <laughs> Yeah, you can do that. So a wide angle lens can be really helpful if you'd like to capture a wide range of landscape, city. Throughout the history, brilliant photographers and cinematographers have tried to capture uh, the cities or any kind of a landscape you would like to see. Nature, basically. Now, you can also capture human faces and they have done it. This particular lens is absolutely manual. You cannot use autofocus because it just doesn't have it. Now, if there is any system out there, which maybe I'm not aware, uh, which you can use to pull focus uh, with some kind of a machine, then you can definitely use that. But otherwise, you just have to use your hands. 
The lens has two rings, a manual focus ring and also an aperture ring. Now, both of them are quite, quite smooth, really smooth, I would say. There is no issues at all. Right now, I'm sitting approximately three feet away and I can just reach the lens like this, as you can see, which is really, really good. You can use it for your blogging. You can hold your camera just like this and you can use it for blogging, which is really, really good. And you can show the entire uh, ambience behind you, the surroundings behind you, which is really, really awesome in terms of a wide angle lens. Look at this. So it definitely does a little bit of a focus breathing when you actually manually try to focus like this. But then that's what happens with such a wide uh, angle lens like this. And uh, I would definitely say this, even though it does that, it doesn't really matter. You'll have a little bit of a crop in your vision in terms of uh, how much area do you really want to be captured through this particular lens. And I think this happens to almost all different lenses out there from all different brands out there. That's totally okay. Also, the center of the frame will be quite sharp and the corners will be. This particular lens is actually meant for APS-C cameras. And if you have a full frame camera, the focal length would be approximately 18 mm. So you can have the same uh, visuals which you can get from a 18 mm lens on top of a full frame body uh, like a 12 mm lens on a crop sensor body so it's quite similar why should you have a wide angle lens well point number one you can capture tiny spaces and make them appear quite big You can use a wide angle lens to capture a lot of different things. You can make humans look quite distorted and egg shaped just like this. That's funny, I know, but you can definitely use this idea for some kind of artistic choices you can make in terms of your film, your storyline, and uh, it's quite an advantage by the way. The lens has a capability of capturing light up to f-stop 2.8, which is really standard. Samyang, in the other hand, on the other hand, it has f 2.0, 2.0, slightly better. In terms of the opticals, now, I really don't know in terms of the company's process, how they make it and all that. So I don't think that's really required. What you need to know is this. The optics are really good and it's definitely not comparable with the other variants which are quite costly in the same time like uh, Venus Optics or any other brand, Sony, Panasonic, Lumix, whichever you would like to go for. But the thing is Canon, in this particular price range, I really do not think we can actually get any better deal. This is really, really cheap. Nowadays, everything's are quite affordable in, in some of the areas of filmmaking. So if you have one of this uh, lens in your pocket, it's quite useful. Trust me, it's quite useful. But there are a couple of things which you should know. If you're trying to shoot a video in 1080, 1920, 1080, which is just HD, it will be good. But if you're trying to capture in 4K, Man, you can do a lot of different things. You can crop in, you can zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. You can do those things and it will still be quite crisp. So there are, there are advantages of this particular lens, even though this is quite affordable. Okay, look at, look at my dead cat. So who should buy this lens? Students and people who are learning. Why? because they cannot afford huge, big, powerful, pricey lenses, obviously. And if they have this lens, they can actually learn the basics of shooting in a wide angle view. That's quite a bit of a learning. Trust me, if you have a wide angle lens and you would like to try out different things, 
you will be surprised with the effects and the creative things that you can actually do with your surroundings. So I think people who cannot afford this, not this, people who cannot afford a pricey lens, they, they can actually go for this and try out a lot of different things. Conclusion, should you buy this? Trust me, if you really don't have the budget, it will give you sharp images. That is all I can say. This is really, 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 really good in terms of the price point. If you have money, then to be very honest, I would say you can go for Venus Optics or whichever company, uh, whichever brand, the camera you have. For example, if you have a Sony, for the E-mount lineup, you can buy different lenses out of uh, like Sigma 16mm, that's a brilliant lens in the budget. And you can go for Sony's 10 to 18mm lens, which is quite costly, but it's still really, really awesome. Or you can go for Venus Optics. Venus, Venus Optics, they make almost distortion-free wide-angle lenses. That is awesome. In my opinion, there is only one drawback that I saw that this particular lens does not have any thread to apply a filter on top because of the lens cap. Now, but the company also produces, uh, and uh, if I'm right, you can just buy another adapter to put it on top so you can put the ND filter on top of that by the company, by the manufacturer. But then, let me know in the comment section if there are any other small brands out there throughout the world who actually make these kind of things for this particular lens. But I don't think it's really required though. If you are going to use this lens for a long, long time and you're not really thinking of upgrading to a better lens or a bigger lens or a whatever lens, then I think then you should definitely check that particular thread thingy out. That'll be helpful actually, especially in sunlight. You can't shoot in 2.8 or 4 or 5 or whatever. You have to go beyond 8 sometimes to capture a really beautiful, deep, focused, long shot. So I think definitely check that thing out. If it is out there, let me know. I'll try to buy. I didn't get it in India though, as of now. We'll see. So this is a quick review of 7 Artisan's 12mm f2.8 lens, just to give you an idea if it is really good enough for anybody, professionals, amateurs, normal, basic learning students out there. I would say this is really good for anybody and this is really really cheap it's affordable and you can just put it in your pocket it's quite tiny it's total metal by the way the body is made out of metal which is really really awesome and it is just yeah big Whew. it's quite a view you don't want your accessories like your stand, your boom stand, your mic and everything come into the picture. So wide angle lens in that way can be a little tricky. But then, you know what? You'll figure out a way. There's no biggie. There are a lot of uh, uh, techniques which you can practice while trying to shoot your uh, content, you know? Yeah, just give it a go. This is a brilliant lens and check this out. You can do all these things and you can capture whatever you want. You can capture whatever you want and go crazy. Peace!